Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers to October 2024 general monthly reading for Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon. And I want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed, who like and share my videos because that helps my whole channel to circulate to more and more individuals who are in need of this information just like you. Okay, Sagittarius, we've got a lot going on energetically with the transiting planets. So today I am taping on the 24th of September, and this will most likely, I will be able to download it tomorrow, the 25th. So the new moon is going to be on October 2nd. It's going to be in Libra, 10 degrees, four minutes, and it's going to be almost completely conjunct, exact, to Mercury in Libra on that same day. Mercury is going to be 10 degrees, 10 minutes. So that's a big deal, along with, at the same time, Mars, transiting Mars, is in Cancer all month long, and on the second, it's going to be square to the new moon and to Mercury, both in Libra and close degree. So what that means to me is new moons have everything to do with new beginnings. Mercury is all about communication. So what I am seeing for all of us in general in the world is we are going to be receiving communication about something new coming into a new way of life, um, a new beginning in some way for all of us. And Mars is, is very passionate. It is very explosive, very active. So there's going to be a lot of emotional, expressive, action-taking, physical, along with the verbal communication, we're going to see action actually happening, or we're going to hear about action happening in our favor, in, yes, in our favor about the world and, and um, what's, what new beginnings are happening or going to happen or about to happen for all of us. Very beneficial, very beneficial. And along with that, another major, major thing is transiting Pluto in Capricorn, which again, at the end, if you don't already know, at the end of every sign, at the end and then the beginning of every planet going into a new sign, or at the end of an old sign right before it's ready to go out for the last time, which Pluto is in Capricorn, and it is this is the last time. It's a big deal. It has extra strong, powerful, intense energy. As far as Pluto, Pluto is very intense anyway, but it has an extra oomph to it, an extra um, last pow, so to speak. And, and so we're also going to be seeing that not just in the month of October, but specifically even um, if not all of us are going to see it uh, throughout the month, for sure it's going to be about the last week because Mars in Cancer is in opposition, close degree, to Pluto in Capricorn big deal that has to do with our foundational security and and this could be you personally too depending on what you have in your chart um, but it, for the world absolutely um, a foundational root security level uh, a huge revolution a huge transformation a huge death and rebirth that affects us all. And so we've been seeing the death, you know, around us and what's been happening for several years now. Well, now it's whatever 
hasn't been concluded is going to be concluded so that we can, all of us, can move into this new energy, the new beginnings that um, are, are happening also. Okay, uh, let's see. So the full moon is going to be on the 17th in Aries, 24 degrees, 35 minutes. We have Jupiter in Gemini still. It goes retrograde on the 9th. And it begins the month at 21 degrees. By the end of the month, 20 degrees. And then we still have Jupiter in Gemini square, fairly close to Saturn in Pisces, which is still retrograde, and Neptune in Pisces, which is also retrograde. And Saturn begins the month at 14 degrees, and by the end, end of the month, 12 degrees. Neptune, 28 degrees, beginning of the month, by the end of the month, 27 degrees. So it's closer to, Jupiter is, is closer to um, squaring with Neptune. It's a far square anyway, but it's still, it's still a fact. So again, we still have that going on, which we had last month. So that is still an intensity as well as everything else that I have said. So I won't go into any of that anymore. Oh, last but not least, we have Chiron that is still in Aries, 21 degrees, 50 minutes all month long. And then North Node is also still in Aries at six degrees all month long. Okay, so Sagittarius, let's get to your specific monthly reading. For sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon in Sagittarius. What do they need to know astrologically? What energies are assisting Sagittarius this month? Took a little bit, but it's very specific. And now let's see what they are. We have number 51 that breaks down into a six. And so there is some type of, this is conjunction or alliance. So you either have or will be beginning to work closely with another is what I am seeing. It could be a group, but um, I'm, I'm seeing definitely one-on-one -on -one for most of you. And this is going to, this is having to do with your freedom, both of your freedom. And this could be in any type of, any type of relationship, family, friend, romantic, business, even strangers, two, two of you coming together to cooperate in some specific way that will assist you in gaining freedom assist them in gaining freedom. And yes, again, it could be a group. You could be joining together to fight for freedom or to, um, yes, uh, you're all joining together or in an alliance, alliance with each other, joining together to, um, I'm just seeing like a, um, like a protest, uh, standing up for yourselves, standing up for the whole world, you in this group, um, in some way. And that could definitely be with what I spoke about with these transiting planets too. You could actually be, be some of those speaking out, communicating, communicating the truth, communicating what's going on and, what's going on in the world and having to do with the new journey we are all about ready to take. I see some of you or someone, it might not be all of you, specifically doing that 
and you could have a podcast. You could have um, a YouTube channel or some internet. Or you're on the internet doing this. Uh, next is number six. This is Virgo and Digest. Here, look at this. You've got a 6-6. Six, six. So 6-6, six, six, you could be seeing sixes this month. Good. Absolutely a good omen. It's not, it's not true. You don't already know. Sixes are positive. Check it out if you don't know already what they what that means. But uh, that is definitely a specific sign or synchronicity for some of you. And I'm also getting Sagittarius, some of you, or someone has Virgo prominent also, along with Sagittarius in your chart. And they square each other. So um, and that's neither here nor there. Just That's just a fact. But something about digest, yeah, again, you are assisting in relaying some type of information so that others can learn about it, know about it, and even you are assisting them in being able to work through it, digest it, understand what is being said. And I'm also getting some of you, you just have knowledge, whether this is in your family unit or in your community or in your neighborhood. You don't have to have a, um, an internet, a any audience, great big audience. You can, but you don't have to. But what I'm seeing is you're being sought out, people or um, again, your friends, family, or your community, or maybe if you're online, you're getting questions to what's happening? Why is this happening? What does this mean? And they're coming to you because you have the answers or you are an authority figure in some way. And so they are looking to you to have the answers to these questions to help them. Yeah, you're in some guiding role, Sagittarius. And Sagittarius naturally has to do with the higher mind, has to do with those journeys, physical or, or mind, taking uh, journeys, seeing the higher, per, um, the higher uh, truths about things as well. Okay, so let's see what, I'm going to have to put this up just a little bit. I don't feel like this. We need to get some, let's get some tarot cards for you, Sag. Okay, so what else? I'm getting that, whoa, oh, that almost bent my card. I'm also getting that, um, some of you have been researching or somehow gaining wisdom about a certain subject that you then, this is going to come in handy. This is something that's necessary. And then uh, you're going to be able to share this information where people weren't listening before and they will be now is what I'm getting for you because of what's coming up even in October or beginning in October. Okay. Nine of swords. So yes, yeah, some of you even have been working through personal stuff is what I'm getting. And by working through your personal stuff, uh, you have gained certain information that's going to be valuable for everyone or for a lot of other people other than just you and it ha has helped you as well or it is helping you and and without without this hardship that you either have just recently gone through or it's been a process for you and you're still working through it you know in the end of it but again what, however, wherever you are on your, on your specific path with this, in the end, this 
is not just going to be um, information that you have gained and wisdom you have gained for yourself and strength that you have that's enabled you to be stronger and of course again wiser and even more courageous and knowledgeable about the truth whatever that specific truth is for you it's different for all of you you it's going to benefit others again it could be just your family members a friend or a big group it doesn't matter. And at the very least, whatever this is it, personally that you have worked through for yourself, you have increased and cleared it up for your ancestry automatically. Okay, next is 17, the star. So yeah, anything, whatever this is, you're, you are coming out or you are out of it and you're now shining bright because you have the information again here there's the knowledge her head is being emphasized because to me with you specifically this is about knowledge this is about your knowledge being increased and then you being able to share that with others so this hasn't just transformed you or isn't just transforming you, whatever the case may be. It's going to transform others as well. Wow, look at that, the Ace of Cups. Yes, you are really coming out. And again, this is an emotional, of course, um, this is a deep-seated some type of emotional issue something again with the with the bad dreams with the mind um yes it's it's affected your mind so it could be it could be a belief system or a past belief system or something but you're 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 clearing that and so you're getting the opposite you're gaining the nine of swords is you're at the end of this hardship whatever that hardship is and you can expect to see sometime in October, at least the beginning of this freedom, emotional freedom, emotional expression, emotional um, happiness, release, release too. And I'm also getting cleansing for some of you. October is a cleansing of this of all of this energy coming out and, and freeing you, freeing you in every single way. Emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically. And you literally feel re reborn is the words I just got in my head. Reborn. And rainbows. Doves also, you could be seeing doves, rainbows this month, sign or synchronicity. It was very heart expansion opening up for you too, your heart chakra. Possibly around the full moon. Full moon again is going to be in Aries 24 degrees on the 17th. You could have a breakthrough. This is number 17, and I just got the word breakthrough with the star because the 17th, again, is the full moon. That's not for everybody necessarily, but you could watch or around that date, the 17th. Breaking free from this, whatever is blocking you, whatever's giving you pain. Okay. Okay, so let's let's grab a a moon card here. Let's see for Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon for Sagittarius. Okay. 
there's that. Okay. Be proud of yourself, Sagittarius. Be proud of yourself. This is the last quarter moon in Taurus. You could have a planet in Taurus. Maybe your moon's in Taurus. doesn't have to be. You could have a south and north node in Taurus as well. But there's something that you either can be proud of yourself right now or you are going to be proud of yourself for sometime in October. And someone maybe needed to hear that encouragement to be proud of yourself, of how far you have come through this hardship and how much you have gained emotional stability that you've gained, I just got. Okay. Yeah, so let's see. Let's see what... Let me see what that is here. Okay. Let's see what... Oops, that wasn't a very good... Let's try that again. But let's see what types of things you can expect. What gain what things you can gain or you're going to gain because of this breakthrough, because of this ending and freeing yourself of this emotional baggage. Whoa. The power of purpose. It's number 18 that breaks down into a nine. So one of the things that you can be proud of, if this is on, landed on the proud of, you can be proud of is whatever this that you went through or are ending right now has given you purpose, a new purpose in life, a new beginning, or it's going to. And you can be proud of that because it's taking you in a new direction. And you're going to be able to help others, not just, this wasn't just for you. You have already assisted others, whether you know it or not. Okay. Let it go. Yeah. Did I say, didn't I say heart healing for you? And then here we have the green and the heart it's opening up because you're letting go again whatever this is it's being let go of or it's it's in the process you are in the process of letting go number 24 breaks down into another six 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 so definitely that's a sign or synchronicity for you also uh, hummingbirds Someone loves hummingbirds. And I've just got the message that whoever you are that loves hummingbirds, that's a sign that you see a hummingbird now through the end of October. That's just telling you that you have let go. You are healing or you are at the end of your healing. You've done it. You've healed. You've completed that healing process. I also got for someone else, it could be if you know that you're not done healing, I just got that whatever you're thinking about or feeling, it's time for you to let that go. Others of you that the, the first uh, message doesn't, um, isn't right for you. And this is both, so I have two different messages with seeing um, a hummingbird. And we have two different hummingbirds right here. One is green and one is yellow and black with a little green. Hence, two different messages. Wow. But either way, it's going to open your heart, heal your heart. Or it's just, you just heal your heart. Wow. Also, six, seeing the 666. That's, has, uh, that's also another message of letting go. Whether you, it's telling you you've let go, you're complete, or 
what you need to let go, depending on what you're thinking about, how you are feeling. Again, that's individual for each and every one of you. Let's see if there's anything else that wants to come out for Sagittarius, what they can look forward to. So you're definitely letting go of something and you're, you are taking in your hand your power, your purpose, your powerful purpose. Okay, anything else for set? Okay. Well, these are upside down. What's going on? <clears throat> Spirit of gratitude. I just want to see something. Okay. Yeah, you're going to be. And a lot of you already are thankful. You're consciously thankful. And being, continuing to be in the state of thankfulness, uh, gratefulness, gratitude. And that's what also has been assisting in your healing and being able to let go. Is being grateful for everything, even grateful. And you can be grateful for this, this experience and every hardship that this puts you through you're healed you you are definitely healed that's a definite sign when you are thankful for that going through that experience knowing that without that experience you would not be who you are right now and you would not have your purpose, know your purpose, be able to embody your purpose, powerful purpose, be your powerful self. You wouldn't be able to, and you certainly wouldn't be able to assist others. That is awesome. Sagittarius. Well, I hope this was helpful. And I want to thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you for October 2024. Until next time.